Before, he was the patron saint of first-year film students and dudes who microdose at their jobs. Denis Villeneuve made another sci-fi film with a mind-bending premise. What if an American had to learn a second language? Nos nosotros, nosotros estamos ten, ah, forget it, we're dead. Arrival. In a world very much like our own, except that Jeremy Renner is Oppenheimer. Ian is a theoretical physicist from Los Alamos. 12 spacecraft arrive and just kind of hang out. So, panic! Financial markets across the world are in crisis. The St. Lawrence Pentecostal cult set their compound ablaze. But when them aliens start speaking in the only language moviegoers understand, CGI goo. The government recruits Amy Adams as our best hope for bonding with an alien life form because, you know. <laughs> And having Hawkeye on your team will only get you so far. So what are we gonna call them? We're sinking Abbott and Costello. Aw, that's cute. We'll let you know if they want someone to pimp their ride or teach them how to rock. She tastes like lipstick and tank array. Now that's a universal language. Meet Professor Louise Banks, top of the Duolingo leaderboard. You are on the top of everyone's list when it comes to translations. With a mean case of resting overwhelmed face. Her greatest challenge will come in the form of the heptapods, giant salad fingers who hotbox the back of their spaceship. <laughs> as she must forge a relationship with these wrinkled Afro pigs who only speak in coffee bug stains. They may not look friendly. I'm human. I'm human. But their intention is to unify all of humanity with the gift of forcing you to see the worst parts of your life ahead of time? Because free will is an illusion? Are you gonna leave me like daddy did? Oh, uh, how do I squirt the goo word for pass? Forrest Whitaker co-stars as a no-nonsense colonel from what sounds like the Australian part of 1930s Brooklyn. Captain Willow Job, you'll be lifting off in five minutes. The voice you're about to hear belongs to China's military chief. Let's get started. Watch this veteran of 1995 species go from horniest to least horny alien movie of all time. Hear me out. <clears throat> As he tries to keep a lid on the skittish ninnies of the US military. Everything you're doing there, I have to explain to a room full of men whose first and last question is how can this be used against us? In a film with a message more on the nose than the tubes they use on Arrakis. You make quick work of those uh, insurgent videos. You make quick work of those insurgents. Because if you didn't like swimming in the moral gray of Villeneuve's prisoners or Sicario, take a steam bath in the gentle, easy righteousness of talking good, war bad. Please don't bother with that channel. How many times do I have to tell you those people are idiots? Fox News. They mean Fox News. So take a quick bump of the spice melange and strap in for a very serious sci-fi with maybe like three jokes. And this is one of them. Yeah, that just happened but is still a fascinating, beautifully crafted film that will forever change how you approach time, love, and giving hot girls you just met your number. I do not claim to know how your mind works, but I believe it was important for you to see that. Wait, that works? They have so much to teach us. Starring Hillbilly ESP, The Time Traveler's Husband, only you can prevent forest firing missiles. Call home by your name. Not a first time awe. And Monsters, Inc. Words with friends. If you like this movie, you should read more stuff by Ted Chang. Let's make unfilmable sci-fi the hot new IP. Go, go, honest trailers. I don't think we have enough hot dogs. To me, my X-Men. Now, the one man who made a difference five times before is about to make a difference again. Only this time, it's different.